and uh, all anticipation of some wet winter weather coming into our forecast area. Nothing out there right now, and let's get right to it. Show you on the radar that, uh, well, first of all, we have a winter weather advisory that will last until 7 o'clock. Now, this winter weather advisory is for much of our area. You see that white shade up there in Rabin County. That's where we have a winter storm warning. But the winter weather advisory just means that we're looking at about an inch of snow possible in the advised area. So from Rome down through Atlanta, over toward Carrollton, uh, Lawrenceville, up toward Gainesville, looking at about an inch of snowfall. And this is a little different from when you went to bed last night. So if you're just waking up, you're probably saying, well, no, this, we had a warning out there. Well, we're looking at lower totals thanks to uh, a couple things. Uh, temperatures uh, a little bit warmer than what we were expecting and uh, the system slowing down just a little bit. Here's the latest on the radar. You can see a lot of what you see here, that green, really not reaching the ground, but that would be in the form of rain because those temperatures are in the 50s here in Atlanta, right at 51 degrees. The snow itself just on the back edge of this, not a whole lot with it, as you can see, although that temperature is delayed a little bit. And so the colder air is still back up here to the north and not really advancing all the way through. So ahead of this, it's nice and warm. It's going to take some time for those temperatures to begin to fall. Will the precipitation be around? When those temperatures drop, that's going to be the question for today, which is why the totals now are being loaded, lowered. So you're looking at temperatures in the 40s, uh, well above freezing in a lot of spots. In fact, everywhere you look, 50 right here in Atlanta, 51 in Peachtree City, 43 up toward Dalton, Rome. You're at 45 degrees and we'll likely see rain on the onset. We're looking at those temperatures falling through the 40s and the 30s as we head through the day. Once that cold front moves through, giving it a four today, a four out of a possible 11 on the wisometer. Now take a look at our latest forecast track model. I'm going to walk you through this and you notice how it puts pushes the snow in a lot of the rain started to dissipate, but pushes the snow in It's by eight o'clock. Now again, where will the temperatures be? For example, in Rome at eight o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm thinking there'll still be a little bit above the freezing mark. So a lot of this blue that you see here will likely be mixing. So you'll see a rain snow mix, which actually keeps totals down. That continues to push toward the metro area. Here we are by 11 o'clock. Notice the freezing line here a little bit further to the east of us and then a little nice area of blue here. You may get a little bit of a burst of snow, which is why we're going to continue to keep that one inch possible right up in here. But I think there'll be a wider area of a mix of rain and snow that continues to push out by noon today. We'll start to see a lot of this coming to an end. In fact, on the back edge of this, you can see we'll get some sunshine in. So by three o'clock this afternoon, looking at sunshine breaking out, that's going to do some good and melting. And then the winds begin to pick up as well. And so that's going to be good for as far as drying is concerned. I still think there will be some areas uh, that will be blocked by the wind and shaded so they won't see a lot of sun. And so that could refreeze as those temperatures will continue to drop as we head through the overnight. As far as the uh, accumulation forecast goes, generally speaking, again, one inch throughout the area, but maybe up to two inches in some localized spots that we'll have watch out for mainly over toward the west. We'll say up toward Rome and then finally up here in the North Georgia mountains, maybe up to two inches in some spots. So as far as the forecast goes, again, we're looking at temperatures uh, falling into the 30s as we head through the day today. 41 uh, will be a high temperature for tomorrow. We'll have mostly sunny skies on the outside. We're going to remain dry at least until we get to the weekend. Super Bowl weekend coming up. Looks like some wet weather could be around for Super Bowl Sunday. You're looking at uh, about a 40% chance for some rain to move into our forecast area on Sunday. Time now for a check on the traffic. Here's Crash Clark.